Hello. I just wanted to pop in really quickly because I know I posted a video yesterday, but this is just to say a massive, massive thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my funny little spinning, knitting, going out exploring Wales channel, which, oh my goodness, I am, I'm really humbled because I have said this before, but I just started this channel on a whim. It just seemed like it would be something that would be good fun and that I would enjoy it. It was a way of being creative. And I said to myself when I started in September 2023, I said, you know, if I've got 100 subscribers by Christmas, I'll carry on. And well, I got 100 subscribers really quickly and I've just crossed the thousand subscriber mark which, wow, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm so humbled. I feel like I've found my tribe. It has been so lovely to connect with people across the globe who love spinning and love working with fibre and wool and love knitting and crafting and just maybe a slightly slower pace of life. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love getting your comments. I always do my best to kind of reply in a, helpful manner I hope um, and sometimes it's just nice when people say hi and I can say hi back so thank you thank you thank you um, what does a thousand subscribers mean why is it so important I you probably have seen lots of these videos before but a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours means that you get a percentage of the YouTube ad revenue I have no control about the ads that are put on my videos and you don't actually get paid for that until you cross this threshold. So I've now crossed the thousand subscriber threshold, but I'm still working on the 4,000 subscribers, but uh, no, 4,000 watch hours. But you know, that'll come. I'm, I'm not that worried about it because, you know, for somebody like me, that's a really small channel and it's very niche what I'm talking about, you know, it's like really, really niche. Um, it's going to be maybe 20 or 30 pounds a month, which will be enough just to be able to um, experiment a bit more with buying a few different rovings and um, trying some different techniques and some equipment. So that will just be lovely and it will make it into a sort of um, a hobby that pays for itself, if, if that's possible. I mean, it's not possible. No, I mean, I could easily spend more than 30 pounds a month on crafting, but you know, we. We'll gloss over that for the moment. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out walking the dog. There's other people walking their dogs, which you might be able to hear in the background. There's a great big blood, bloodhound kind of in the woods and he's being quite noisy. So I am in the process of recording my next slightly longer video, which is going to be uh, looking at some of the fibres that I bought from the selection box from my woven briar and also we've got visitors coming next week so I'm just checking out and now my dog started barking. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much and I'll see you really soon.